pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, so do we want to do the swearing in, or you want to wait a little bit for see if the judge shows up? I thought I saw Stanley's car. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Uh, we have a swearing in ceremony to do. We're just going to wait to see if Dr. Justice shows up. And if not, we'll do it ourselves. <laughs> you have a couple minutes of some funny story you want to tell? Oh, no, I was going to just start and then just. <laughs> this is going to be the. Uh, this is our annual uh, organizational meeting. It's not a work session. Uh, we're going to do a lot of town business. So we're just waiting a minute to see it. You see him? Okay. Okay. We'll need that for the session. So. Hey, Judge, are you always like out on the off here? Yes. That's how they do it with the well, justices? It's our, and the reason is because when a justice passes away, they appoint somebody for the rest of the year, and then you have to have an election. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened that oh, okay. the those both worked out for right. the rough years. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, the park, I'm sure, way in the back. Yes. The park pretty much. Uh, are we pretty much back to normal now with court? Should we print out the as far as, uh, six o'clock agenda, or you want to COVID and print that out for us? No. If there's no. That's great. I don't think there's any more. What's that? Yeah, the six o'clock agenda. That's correct. Okay. Again, for the public, we're just waiting for. Judge Birnbaum to show up. Greetings. Okay, the judge is here. Here. Guys are moved up. Come <laughs> oh. up to the front, please. <laughs> Hello. Uh, thank you for coming. Right here, up in the middle. Uh, I'm Faith Evans Daly. It's an honor for me to be Congratulations. Thank you. Could you raise your right hand and <laughs> repeat after me. I, Mary Faith Westervelt. I, Mary Faith Westervelt. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm that I will support the laws of the Constitution. And I will support the laws of the Constitution. And the laws of the United States. And the laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of the state of New York. And the Constitution and laws of the state of New York. And faithfully discharge my duties. And faithfully discharge my duties. In the office of the town of Shelter Island. Justice Court as Town Justice. In the office of the Town of Shelter Island Justice Court as Town Justice. According to the laws. According to the laws. And to the best of my ability. And to the best of my ability. Thank you and may it be the first to say congratulations to you, you, to Brian, and your family, Thank and of you. course the Town of Shelter Island. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Judge, thank you very much for coming over. Thank you. Thank you. Memory skills, by the way. Yeah, really. Some of those sentences were a little long. That was, yeah. that was impressive. What we're paid for, I think. <laughs> I knew you were on the clock. Okay, so we're going to start right away with uh, our resolution. Make you want to get us started? Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Be it resolved that the supervisor is hereby authorized to temporarily invest town funds not needed for immediate expenditure in certificates of deposit or special time deposit accounts in banks or trust companies state for highway general and federal funds and be it further resolved that Chase Bank and Dime Community Bank shall be the official depositories for general highway and federal funds and be it further resolved that Supervisor Gerard F. Siller Councilwoman Amber Brock Williams, Councilwoman Margaret Ann Larson, uh, Councilman James Colligan, and Councilwoman Barbara Jean Einfola of the Town of Shelter Island are hereby authorized to sign documents including checks. 
for the town of Shelter Island and be it further resolved that Judy Merringer, Barbara Bloom, and Shelby Mundy are hereby authorized to make transfers of the town funds amongst the designated banks. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Whereas the designation of two newspapers as the official papers of the town is required by statute. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Shelter Island Reporter and Newsday are hereby designated as the official newspapers of the town of Shelter Island for the year 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Whereas the town of Shelter Island has heretofore established this, the town of Shelter Island purchasing policy and procedures which was effective April 1st, 2014, and amended on February 8th, 2019. Whereas the last sentence of said policy states as follows, this policy shall go into effect on April 1st, 2014, and will be, re will be reviewed annually. Whereas the town board has reviewed the aforementioned and suggested no amendments. Now, therefore, be it resolved that said policy dated April 1st, 2014, is hereby approved and adopted for the year 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. First, pursuant to resolution number 182-2006, dated March 10, 2006, the town board adopted an investment policy for the town of Shelter Island, and whereas said policy has been reviewed and amended, now that <coughs> be it resolved that the town board hereby adopts a new investment policy for the town of Shelter Island. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Whereas pursuant to section 29 of the town law, the supervisor shall prepare and file with the town clerk within 30 days after the expiration of each fiscal year, an annual financial report accounting for all monies received and dispersed by him. And whereas pursuant to subsection 10A of section 29, the town board may determine by resolution that the supervisor shall submit to the town clerk within 90 days after the close of the fiscal year, a copy of the report to the state comptroller. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the supervisor shall submit to the town clerk within 90 days after the close of the fiscal year a copy of the report to the state control comptroller required by Section 30 of the General Municipal Law. So, second. All those in favor? Aye. Be it resolved that town officials and employees will be reimbursed subject to audit at the rate of 6.655 cents per mile for the mileage on town businesses for the year 2023 and be it further resolved that town officials and employees will be reimbursed subject to audit for actual and necessary expenses incurred attending training programs and professional meetings which will enhance their job skills and be it further resolved that a request by the town employee or official for such meetings or travel must receive the prior approval of the supervisor so moved second all those in favor <clears throat> aye be resolved that the town of Shelter Island is hereby establishes the following as standard work days for elected and appointed officials and will report the following day's work to the New York State and local employees retirement system based on the record of activities maintained and submitted by these officials to the clerk of this body. The 2023 standard work day elected and appointed officials. I'll do the uh, elected officials first. I'll give the title and the number of hours per day. Town clerk, seven hours. Supervisor, eight hours a day. Town board members, six hours a day. Town justice, six hours per day. Assessor, seven hours per day. Receiver of taxes, six hours per day. Highway superintendent, eight hours per day. I will now give the appointed positions. Town attorney, eight hours per day. Members of the Zoning Board of Appeals, six hours per day. Members of the Planning Board, six hours per day. Duty Town Clerks, seven hours per day. Confidential Secretary to the Supervisor, six hours per day. The Confidential Secretary to the Highway Superintendent, 7.6 hours per day. So moved. Second, all those in favor? Aye. Perhaps pursuant to a resolution Number 359-2001, dated June 8, 2001, the town board authorized eligible employees who wish to waive his or her rights to medical insurance coverage provided by the town of Shelter Island by applying and writing. And whereas applications have been filed by Jen Bereski, Stan Birnbaum, Barbara Bloom, Amber Brock Williams, James Colligan, E.J. Ian Fowler, Stephen Kiley, Kenneth Lewis, Judy Merringer, Michael Mitchell, Shelby Mundy, Aiden Nizelborski, Anne Marie Setio, Gerard Siller, Mary Faith Westervelt, and Kelly Brochu. Now, therefore, be resolved that the town board 
hereby approves the payment of salary compensation to the aforementioned applicants to said resolution 359 of 2001 for the year 2023. So moved. Second. Most in favor? Aye. Aye. Whereas the town board desires to ensure the consistency of the terms and conditions between the two full time harbor masters, formerly known as Bay Constables, and therefore be resolved that the town supervisor is hereby authorized to execute any and all necessary documents to achieve such consistency. So Second. All those in favor? Aye. Be resolved that Brian Sherman is hereby appointed to serve as Commissioner of Public Works for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Be resolved that David W. Clark is hereby appointed to serve as Safety and Training Officer for the Shelter Island Highway Department for the year 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Be resolved that Deputy Speeches is hereby appointed to serve as Confidential Secretary for the Superintendent of Highways. Commissioner of Public Works for the year of 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So move. Second. All those in favor? Mm, aye. Be resolved that <clears throat> Donna Ketchum, Tracy Gibbs, Deborah Brewer, Linda Cass, and Lawrence Sandwald are hereby appointed to serve as part time custodians for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. aye. Be it resolved that William Clark III is hereby appointed to serve as town historian for the year 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Tom Cronin and Andrew Chapman are hereby appointed to serve as part-time laborers for the residential repair program for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be resolved that Greg Raymond, Tom Hoshagen, and Donald Dunning are hereby appointed to serve as part-time maintenance mechanic one for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Kelly Brochu is hereby appointed to serve as provisional senior citizens center manager retroactive to January 1st, 2023 to be paid as per 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Be resolved that Sarah Mundy is hereby appointed to serve as Senior Citizen Aid 1 for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 amended budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Be resolved that Lori Finelli is hereby appointed to serve as Senior Citizens Aid 2 for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We resolve the current that it is hereby appointed to serve as part-time senior citizens office assistant for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be resolved that Donna Cass, David Binder, and Marianne McGinn are hereby appointed to serve as part-time AAA driver for the year 2023 to be paid as per 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Heather Lee is hereby appointed to serve as a part-time minibus driver for the year 2023 to be paid as per 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Giovanna Ketchum is hereby appointed to serve as part-time cook for the Silver Circle for the year 2023 to be paid as per budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Donna King and Donna Cass are hereby appointed to serve as part-time therapeutic activities workers for the year 2023 to be paid as per 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Leon Creighton is hereby appointed to serve as part-time cook for the nutrition program for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Carl Crosby is hereby appointed to serve as full-time head cook for the nutrition program for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Allison Bender is hereby appointed to serve as a part-time food service worker for the nutritional program for the year 2023 to be paid as per 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. Be it resolved that Blanca Frosto, Frosto is hereby appointed to serve as full-time provisional tax Receive a clerk for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Catherine Rasmussen, Tracy Gibbs, John Spinelli, Bo Payne, Amanda DeChu, and Arthur Bloom are hereby appointed to serve as part time detention, detention attendant for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.
Be resolved that John Spinelli is hereby appointed to serve as part time court officer for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be resolved that Peter Fieldbig and John Mahoney are hereby appointed to serve as part time Harbor Master One for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. Aye. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be resolved that Catherine Rasmussen is hereby appointed to serve as a part time school crossing guard the year 2023 to be paid as per 2023 budget. So moved. Second, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. We resolve that Emily Krause is hereby appointed to serve as full-time assistant recreational leader slash fit manager for the year 2023 to be paid as per 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We resolve that Deborah Brewer, Kate Davison, Katie Potter, Kelsey Lechmansky, Kathy Rasmussen and Sarah Mundy are hereby appointed to serve as part-time assistant recreational leader for the year 2023 to be paid as per 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Be it resolved that Deborah Brewer, Julia Weissenberg, Lindsay Ranzo, Peter Minima, Katie Potter, Trent Firestein, Alex Bender, Kelsey Lichmansky, Kyle Burns, Corey Cass, and Dawn Harris are hereby appointed to serve as part-time recreational aid for the FIT program for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We resolve that Peter Miedema, Callie Smith, and Catherine Brigham are hereby appointed to serve as part-time recreation specialist instructors for the year of 2023 to be paid as per 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We have resolved that Michael DeSantis De is hereby appointed to serve as a full-time provisional building inspector in the year 2023 to be paid as per 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We have resolved that Kathleen Ryan is hereby Aye. Kathleen Riley is hereby appointed to serve as full-time provisional building department office assistant for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Kathleen Riley is hereby appointed to serve as clerk for the Home Improvement Contractor License Board for the year 2023 to be paid as per 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Michelle Congdon is hereby appointed to serve as part time justice court clerk for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be resolved that Christina Martin Leda de Silva is hereby appointed to serve as clerk to the following committees Zoning Board of Appeals, Board of Ethics, Capital Planning and Grants Committee, and Waterways Management Advisory Committee. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be resolved that Coco Lee Thuman is hereby appointed to serve as a clerk to the following committees Community Preservation Fund Advisory Board, the Board of Assessment Review, the Water Advisory Committee, the Water Quality Improvement Advisory Board. Emergency Medical Services Advisory Board, Community Housing Board, and the Comprehensive Plan, and the Media Department personnel. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Whereas on December 17th, 2022, the office of the town clerk became vacant upon the resignation of Dorothy S. Ogar. Whereas pursuant to New York State Town Law 645, the town board is authorized to fill vacancies in town offices by appointment. Now, therefore, be it resolved, retroactive to January 1st, 2023, Amber Wilson shall be appointed to the position of town clerk, records officer, and register of vital statistics for the town of Shelter Island at a salary as per the 2023 adopted budget until December 31st, 2023, after which the position will be filled by the winner of the November 7th, 2023 general election. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Before you go on, Amber, congratulations. Yay. Thank you very, very much. Do a great job. Thank <laughs> you. Be resolved that Supervisor Gerard F. Seller, Councilman James Colligan, Barbara Jean Gonfola and Councilwomen Amber Brock Williams and Margaret Ann Larson are hereby appointed to serve as police commissioners for the year 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Be it resolved that Councilwoman Amber Brock Williams is hereby appointed to serve as deputy supervisor for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Judy Merringer is hereby appointed to serve as confidential secretary to the supervisor for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Jack H. 
Spielberg is hereby appointed to serve as the EMS director for the town of Shelter Island for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. So moved. Be resolved that Dr. Joshua Potter is hereby designated to serve as town medical director for the year 2023 to be paid as per the 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that Alexandra Hakem is hereby appointed to serve as part-time town social worker retroactive January 3rd, 2023, to be paid as per 2023 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved that the Chief of Police, James J. Reed Jr., is hereby appointed to serve as emergency management coordinator for the year 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The super- Want to read like five of them and cast five and then can should we say the list is on? I would say it's available. The list okay. is available. Yeah. So the supervisor designated the following committee representatives and liaisons to wit. And it has a list of all of the committees for the town and all their associated liaisons. It's available at the clerk's office and on the website. So moved. So moved. There Second. are 33 of those. So we want to pull back to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Give me a second. A second. I'm sorry. <laughs> all those was I, at the wheel. I was counting the number. All there those are 33 of those. All those. Did you give me some? <laughs> okay. I love it. That's great. Uh, that ends the uh, organizational part of the meeting. Uh, do we want to go around the table, or do we want to open it up to the public first? Mm. Around the table? Around the table. Normally we go around the table at the work session, but right now. Meg, you ready? Um, you prepared? I don't really have anything for this <clears throat> week. We haven't really had any meetings, so. But. Okay. Jim? Uh, we met this morning at Capital Planning Grants Committee, met, met at 9 o'clock, 9.02 to be exact, and we're finished at 9.17, a record 15 minute meeting. Um, which goes to show you the uh, agenda has not been quite as extensive. Uh, we've cut down on some of it. We changed our format up a little bit. <clears throat> we um, gave a quick overview of the municipal wastewater treatment project. Uh, Joe, uh, looking forward to that meeting with Suffolk County Health Department in the next few weeks to uh, gain some very valuable feedback from them. We'll know a lot more about that project once that meeting is established. A real point, I did send everybody uh, about 15, 20 pictures from uh, real point as of yesterday afternoon they've been out there now for seven days of uh of dredging it is a mechanical dredge anybody that happens to stop out there maybe this weekend the dredging project will be finished it has to be done this time of the year because of the limitations of uh, that are placed on us by the new york state dc and uh, so they have to be done in a timely fashion um i will tell you that uh the last hydraulic uh, dredge uh, was done in 2018. And as Brian said this morning, at a cost of $775,000 to do a hydraulic dredge. Last year, and for the past, since 2018, uh, the cost has, has ranged, you know, substantially between one hundred and $140,000. Last year, they removed and replenished about 6,500 cubic yards of sand and small stone. So when they do that, basically the whole idea is going out to the tip of real point, grabbing the last hundred feet of uh, the point, making a pile and two payloaders come up, pick up that sand and relocate it down the spine uh, from north to south. Uh, what's that is designed to do? It's a temporary measure that's designed to be done annually to protect that spit from being washed over. If anybody walks down there, if you're walking on the east side of the point, and you look up, you can't see. It's seven feet high, six and seven feet high in certain spots. That's how high the spine is. So it, it works. Uh, unfortunately, storms do their thing, and, and, and we'll take that sandy once again. Uh, as everybody realizes, there's been a change uh, with uh, Congressman Zeldin's office. So we no longer are affiliated, you know, working with Mark Woolley. Uh, Brian uh, Sherman said he has a contact with the Army Corps of Engineers plans on using that contact in the next couple of days to find out what's the disposition of the monies that were set aside for to do their initial study. Uh, as Joe as Joe said, uh, I have a connection. 
Oh, all right. Okay. That, that would be helpful to find out just where we're at there. That, that would be real helpful. Uh, Joe Fenora stated that the Army Corps of Engineers will begin the process of making a determination on this uh, project, whether it receives a go or a no-go. That's a quote. Based upon their analysis and cost-benefit. If the project receives a thumbs up by the Army Corps, that would commence a feasibility slash design study. He further stated that in his best estimation, based on the, what he has seen in the past, that it could take as long as a decade to actually get this project up and done. And so I think the idea is I might have been leading you along like we do the feasibility study and then within the next year or two, the project's going to be done. Uh, Joe's best estimate is that it's going to take considerably longer than that because they don't go right into the feasibility study. They first do a cost analysis saying, is it even worth it? Is it worth our time and our effort to, to get involved in this? So we're just trying to really get a commitment from them to do it. We are, we are to, do, to do that first step, make sure that they can make a commitment to say, you know what, by doing what we're going to recommend to the town and for the town to buy in for that recommendation, this in the long run will save the taxpayers money and will preserve, there'll be less maintenance, annual maintenance on that. So there'll always be maintenance on it, regardless of what we do. But the Army Corps is, uh, has more, probably, you know, we, we opted for the natural shoreline. Uh, the natural shoreline out there is, is would, would deter the movement of sand, but not, not by a lot. I, I think Joe is right. I think the Army Corps, when they get involved in a project, they get a little bit more aggressive in the project, and it would be a little bit more, maybe a series of low groins, maybe this, that, the other thing. But there might be other steps that they may recommend in terms of, you know, protecting that piece of a piece of land. Uh, Fresh Pond, we'll get an update on February. We have nothing to report back. Uh, West Neck Water, we have really nothing uh, major to report back on, other than the fact that the town is committed to, to replace the infrastructure in West Neck Water. Uh, we will continue to look for uh, exploring funding options. Uh, it's a difficult task because of the nature of what we're trying to do. It seems that most of the money that's going into those kinds of projects are, are not going in to replace <clears throat> the infrastructure, so to speak, and, and new main lines that it's being targeted for things that have contaminated waters and other other high priority areas are, are seem to be getting that funding. Um, Shelter Island Heights water, a wastewater treatment plant, Joe and I and Stella will be meeting probably within the next few weeks, definitely before our February meeting. We are repivoting the project and Joe and I will make a report back after that meeting is done. Uh, number six, the ADA project at, uh, at police headquarters in Justice Hall. The timetable um, would be that uh, we should get some type of a rough sketch by the end of this month, maybe the beginning of February, on, on a rough sketch of some design work there. A complete design phase should be completed by mid-year. So I'm saying towards the end of June 2023. So we'll have ample time be between then and the budget to be able to get ready for what we want to do with those plans in terms of ADA compliance at one or both of those buildings. That's police headquarters and Justice Hall. Uh, capital planning presentation, uh, Amber provided Jim with a draft of the letter that's being sent out to all department heads. I've looked at it. It's perfectly written and it, it's all set to go. We'll get that out ASAP. Department heads will sit down with their key members of their department, doesn't have to be the entire department, to do some type of an assessment on what their capital needs would be for the next five years. Again, I think Amber put in that letter something to the effect that we don't have a crystal ball, nobody does, but again, the best educated, uh, you know, there, there are things that you replace on a, on a, on a regular basis they, that go into our budget, our operational budget, but there are other things that need to be in a capital plan that need to be spelled out by each department. They'll collate that, give it back to the, the grants committee. We'll look, take a look at it and then put it in some type of prioritization order, bring it back to the town board for your review and for your uh, approval. And then we'll talk about it come budget time. Um, other than that, um, uh, Jennifer uh, sent a report in, I'll, I'll, I'll circulate her report, I'll highlight any things. Uh, the things that she highlighted there were the OBIT grant funding, 
uh, some movement there. And the New York State DEC household hazardous waste uh, next application is due uh, February 28th. Uh, according to uh, Brian Chairman, this might be the last time that uh, we can we can put in for this uh, particular grant that they may not be running this in the future. Um, and he, uh, they also mentioned, uh, Jennifer mentioned, she has been working side by side with Shelby Mundy on financial and grant reimbursements. We'll continue to go forward. So that's a nice marriage between Jennifer and Shelby on, on following up on grants and, and that funding. Right, and that was it in terms of the report from this morning. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Amber? A um, couple of things. Uh, one is on Thursday, January 19th, there's going to be another blood drive. It'll be from 1230 to 630. It's a recreation center, not- well, That's confirmed. Um, we've been posting it on our social media. I don't think, I think that was canceled. Really? Check for Judy. Oh, okay. for check, it, yeah, it thanks. This is the entrance to the, uh, oh. the mailer. Community center? Yeah, and it's been on our various social media, um, you know, yeah, on Facebook, Instagram, I think. But oh, well, I, I just get a ladder. It's, it's on. It's on. It's on. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just the back door. <laughs> Which is a handicap. Okay, so back to what I was trying to say. Sure. Um, okay. It's better to get it confirmed. Yeah. Um, and we're giving it more air time. So Thursday, January 19th, 1230 to 630 at the Recreation Center, not at the EMS building like we normally have it. And this year, people will be entered into a raffle, people who donate blood, to win either an Apple or a Google Watch. And I think wow. everyone receives a McDonald's wow, voucher nice. who gives blood. So oh, a little I'm extra going. incentive <laughs> to, uh, to give Can blood. We, uh, it's not the Recreation Center, it's actually the Community Center. That's the official title of okay. that, that. We will get that changed on okay. different things. I don't want to confuse people. It's okay. not a recreation center. Yep. Um, and then the other item, which BJ, if you want to double team me on things I might forget, WQI um, oh, yeah. met last week, and um, they're reviewing Cornell Cooperative Extension Marine Program um, as shellfish and habitat restoration um, request for a grant has come through. So in the, they're in the process of reviewing that. It's um, The request is big, so we'll see where the board goes with that. Um, and then they're also in the process of updating the rebate application forms just to make them a little cleaner, a little clearer, a little less duplication where possible. Um, they're creating a flow chart for interested residents <clears throat> to be able to use to understand the process better. And then they're also considering the size of the rebate. Things have slowed down a little bit on the application front, which could be a combination of different things. Like we've grabbed some of the low hanging fruit people, but also just the time that's taken to get through the sub and there have been more mandated installations, which don't qualify for town grant money. They qualify for county and state, but not town. So Meg, when we met with the county like a year ago, they said they were expediting everything. Has it gotten any better? Well, then they got hacked. So <laughs> yes, it was doing better. And then they got hacked and they've been completely offline. And yeah. now they're starting to get back online. So it's picking back up again. I'm starting to get emails back from them. So it's good. that timing might have been all right, you know, with the way cost of goods, <laughs> cost of goods spiked and now it's, you know, on the way back down and maybe it was good that we all took a little hiatus. <laughs> community center, I have a, just a couple of things to say about the community center. Um, steps are all done, obviously. Front door has been broken due to a gust of wind. I think that forced the door open and it has broken the front door. So you actually, to close it, to lock it, you need a person on the outside and inside to slam it to actually secure the front of that building. So that's looking to be changed. We are doing the uh, roof and the overhang in-house public works. Uh, that material has been ordered. Uh, we're just waiting for a, a little bit of uh, a few other bids to come in on that. I think that's what Brian stated uh, to get the best possible prices for the materials that we need for that. But it will be done in-house. It will be done, I'm hopeful, uh, sometime late Feb first January and February, depending on weather, if we get decent weather. And in terms of the first step there, which was an, an issue in the, as soon as Corzini opens up, we already know that we're gonna redo that entire uh, driveway in front. So we're not just gonna do in front of the step there. We mm. might have to do something like that right. if we temporarily open that up because the bottom step is, is more than what allows on that coming down from the community center. We don't want somebody to trip if, if we should put the overhang on and open that front door up. 
we're going to have to do some type of temporary fix until such time mm -hmm. as we can actually repay that that entire strip right there. But that will be raised up to a level and sloped in such a way that 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 will meet code. All right. Much um, that was it. Okay, BJ. Um, CPF yesterday balance after the conclusion of a soon to be concluded purchase is a 6.7 million November and December have yet to be booked good year it was a good year um, um, it's certainly off its high by about percent the year before it was high but still it was on uh, above trend no uh, for CPF revenues um, Duly noted at the meeting was that the town in its list of 2023 priorities was that we are exploring an alternate use, alternate use of the properties. And um, Gordon just sort of wants it known that the CPF needs to be, wants to be a part of those discussions. And my view is, what I said was, I think you're naturally the beginning of that discussion whenever it takes place. Um, um, in an, in another part of the discussion, it came to you know this. We came back to this topic and talking about using the CPF property at Congdon Creek as a temporary staging area for the spoils as we rebuilt the bulkhead there. Be about two weeks. And Gordon, in the opening of that discussion, was concerned about precedent. And I, it is my view that precedent doesn't matter in these discussions. Um, there are no slippery slopes because there's no slopes. This is each individual unique property and what use would be or has been proposed for that property. I, I don't see us because we put spoils on this property once we would do it to maybe a very steep property in the future. No, that property would be discussed, you know, separately and we would say, no, no, that's objectionable. Let's not do that. So, so I, 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 and I, that to me ties in with possible usage uh, uses of CPF property. If there is a unique situation, I'm just going to pull this one out as an example where it would be the best and perhaps the only solution for a nearby homeowner to, to have to get water from a CPF property, perhaps that should be considered. That's all, just should be considered. And not considered that all CPF properties are now open for well drilling. I mean, not that, just that. And, and I, so I just kind of want to say that that was, I tried to convey that in, in as direct I, mean, I would say right? that we're not looking for alternative uses, we're looking for yeah, and Fred Deal brought this up that this is a 20 plus year program and things mm. change. Yeah. So what are the accepted uses for the Except, you Right, right. And, and you know, the, there's the broader philosophical discussion, but to me, it will always come back to, to individual properties sure. and what's appropriate for those properties. And that will depend on what's in the original, you know, purchase uh, rationale, what is perhaps on the deed. Uh, what is the composition of the CPF at that time and the composition of the town board at that time? I mean, these are, I, I, I understand Gordon's not comfortable with the unknowns. Who is? Right. right. There are unknowns. And uh, I'm just have to that, hope. Having that ability to be flexible and open to, to these other ideas is important too. Yeah, yeah. We're all in this thing together. Right. Right. Have the discussion yes. anyway. Yeah. Right? And yes. we also need Fred to get that group. I, yes. and I, yeah. I reiterated be, that as well. You know. Yeah, maybe, um, Jerry, you could. Yeah, well, we're going to meet with Fred in the next week or two about right. the housing. So, right. you know, we can talk. And the other thing that I saw so Fred's just to bring this up right now yeah. is uh, he was going to see if there was money from the capital fund, I think he called it, in Albany to help the West Deck Water District yeah. people, which was would be outside any grant program. Yeah. Just to sort of, mm -hmm. um, we think you're trying to do the right thing here and let's help you out. Right. So mm -hmm. if you could remind yeah. him of that, too, yeah. that would be great. The February meeting for CPF was canceled, and oh my gosh, the high school has made a bench, a Nick Moorhead Memorial bench. That is stunning. I mean, it is just so beautiful. Um, and I, I believe it was made with reclaimed decking, uh, mahogany, uh, gorgeous. They made the decision to varnish it, which I'm not sure I agree with, but uh, <laughs> not my call. <laughs> I love it when mahogany sort of just grays out with the natural. And BJ, at, at the uh, meeting, did they uh, come up with a time frame to read? Reevaluator. Uh, no, I meant to bring that up and I didn't. But um, um, uh, since they're taking February off, not that's a terrible yeah, way to put it. Yeah, yeah. Since the February meeting has been canceled for good reason, there's not a lot yeah, percolating right. right now, and people have other plans for February. Again, that quorum issue. Um, but I will send an email out to Gordon and see if if maybe some members that are here would like to use that time to update right. that okay. uh, that guide. Okay. okay. Thank you. Anything else? Yeah. 
Um, comprehensive plan. Our next meeting is January 23rd at 6.30 here in the boardroom. If you've gone to the comprehensive plan website, you can see that we're in the process of updating it. So not all the chapters have been linked yet, but we're in the process of updating everything so that it's all available on the website. It's been reorganized, so it's neat and clean and easy to use. The button to add comments is still on that page down at the bottom. So um, that's all there. So is that a, uh, a public interaction meeting yeah. or is it a work session? It's a work session for us, but it's always open to the public yeah. for comment. Yeah. Um, 6.30 on January 23rd, it's Monday. Yes. And um, so all the chapters that we've discussed are going to be up on the website. And then there's two chapters that we are going to be discussing on January 23rd. And that's like the background and demographic chapter. That's a lot of the census data. We finally gotten that all collected. And um, economic development are the two chapters on for uh, the January meeting. Do we want to mention the RFP? And then we did send out the RFP. So we're waiting to get responses back from consultants. Yeah. Part of the plan. It's a fast track. Uh, mm -hmm. So we hope that we get responses from that we haven't uh, challenged them too much to be on the ball mm -hmm. about the consultants. Good. Yeah. But, um, Great. Did you have a time frame on it? The responses? We're hoping, well, End yeah. Of January, we're hoping. End of January, and then we're hoping to choose someone by middle of February. Yeah. That's Great. the plan. Stephen, you have anything for us? No, Mr. Supervisor. Our town engineer is with us. Joe, you have anything for us? Amber? Okay. Okay, we'll open up to the public for uh, discussion. I'll start with the newspapers, Julia or Julia. Anybody have anything for questions? Uh, not right now. Thanks, Jerry. Can you give us any background on uh, Kelly, who has been appointed to the Senior Center as a manager? Yeah, I, I think we were going to uh, bring her in and introduce her to the public uh, next week, but we could send you the uh, information, sure. Yeah. Great, thank you. Okay, anybody else uh, in our audience, in our Zoom audience? I don't see anybody. Okay, we do have a, a town board meeting tonight at 6 p.m. So uh, we have nothing to discuss now. I'm sure we'll have something to discuss then. Uh, I'm going to make a motion. We close the organizational meeting and go into executive session to discuss what? We have an interview today. Oh, interview. No. No, no. An employee. History. Employee. Yeah. Okay. Employee. Okay. Employee history. All right. I have a motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.